Jair Bolsonaro arriving to face questions at the federal police headquarters over accusations that he incited the rioters that sought the overthrow of his successor, Lula da Silva. Brazil's prosecutor general said the former president had allegedly encouraged the perpetuation of crimes against the rule of law in the January 8th attack on the Brazilian seats of power. Bolsonaro, who landed back in Brazil at the end of March after three months in the U.S., has denied any involvement. The former president reiterated in today's statement that he condemned all anti-democratic acts and all acts aimed at creating instability in the democratic order. The Supreme Court judge granted a request to investigate the far-right leader, citing a video he posted on Facebook two days after the riots, which cast doubt over how Lula came to office. Bolsonaro's lawyers say it was a mistake. This social media post was accidental. In fact, shortly afterwards, two or three hours later, he was warned and immediately removed the post. Jair Bolsonaro was in Florida on January 8th, having left the country on December 31st, the day before his successor was sworn in. A week later, thousands of his supporters swarmed the Congress, Supreme Court and Presidential Palace in Brasilia trashing and smashing offices and windows and vandalizing artworks in scenes reminiscent of riots by supporters of Donald Trump. Like his political role model, Bolsonaro never openly conceded defeat after Lula's narrow victory in the presidential elections. He also repeatedly made unfounded claims that sowed doubt about the reliability of Brazil's voting system. Bolsonaro's sworn deposition is a step forward in just one of the investigations targeting him, that could make him ineligible for upcoming elections or result in jail time.